Let's assign some surrealist collages to illustrate our playlist. I'm beyond excited for today's video because it kind of mixes the two things I love the most, which are design and music. I'm going to be designing three different covers for three different playlists, and I think it's going to be an awesome and fun creative exercise. So let's design together. Sign up for Kiddo with the link in the description for free, and let's start designing. All right, so let's start with the square canvas. Uh, make sure that it fits your streaming platform cover size. So just check what the biggest size possible for it is, but usually it's a square format. Quick disclaimer, this tutorial is gonna be basically me removing the background from pictures and adding some illustrations because, you know, it's a collage. I made these covers 100% in Kittle, but feel free to use your own images. To be honest, collages are a great, great, great creative exercise. So have fun with it. So the beauty of the surrealist collages is creating a scenery that would never happen in real life. So I'm making a woman on a vintage car on the moon with a cactus and floating mirror balls. What do you guys think? You're gonna notice that I copy and paste this image like a hundred times because in collages, some things are in the background, others are in the front, and some of them are in the middle. So I'm basically just cropping the image and transforming it in this sort of, well, I don't know, like a clipping mask, I would say, but not really. Also, I'm just trying to get rid of a small section that the background remover tool did not get rid of. But honestly, I'm gonna put an element on top later, so I shouldn't worry too much about it. I'm just trying to make it smaller so it's not, you know, noticeable. If I cut the image in sections, I'm able to remove some specific parts of it without accidentally removing others, like the woman's hat or the truck in the back. Okay, looks pretty cool already. Now it's time to add a background. I want her to feel like she's on the moon. So, you know, the background is to be the space, of course. Uh, if you right-click on an image, uh, you're gonna see this Use as Background option. Click on it and that's the easiest way to transform an image into the background. Since she's in the moon, the view needs to be obviously the earth. So again, I'm just adding an image of the earth. Love the retro vibes of this, by the way. Now, I'm gonna speed through this part because honestly, it's just me doing the same thing all over again. Adding images, removing background and moving stuff around. Now I'm adding the mirror balls. I love mirror balls. I think they're fun and groovy. But anyways, if you search a disco ball on the elements menu, you're gonna find some different disco ball illustrations. You don't need to find a mirror ball and remove the background. Well, unless you want to, of course. But yeah, you can just use the ones from the Kittle elements menu. I'm desaturating the disco ball, by the way, because I want it to be black and white. And this one has a little color on it, you know, which is fun, but I don't want it for this specific design. Adding some torn paper elements for a finishing touch. Surely we cannot finish this without adding a texture for the extra retro vibe. Okay, so this one is for my on the road playlist. So it's for my driving playlist. Do you have a driving playlist? Everyone has a driving playlist, right? I personally hate driving. I'm not even a good driver, but anyways, music helps me a lot. So when I'm driving, I need to be blasting some of my favorite tunes. Otherwise, I just can't concentrate and I have the worst time ever. But yeah, it kind of makes sense, right? She's in the car. She's kind of on the trip to moon. Yeah, it conveys the message and the aesthetics. The visuals are awesome. This one is going to be super quick because Honestly, it's the same thing. No, it's the same thing. It's using images and removing the background. I just want to show you how I made this creatively speaking. Honestly, my initial idea was to make this one a little bit more in detail, but when I saw how beautiful it looked, I decided to stop right there. It was perfect. It's simple, but it's creative. Also, I want to show you guys how fun it can be to play around with, with juxtaposition and collages. Like a mirror ball can be a hat or oranges can be wheels or bananas can be guns and lamps can be ice cream. <laughs> You know, anything is possible. Like here, the road is a rainbow and the guy's head is a mirror ball and the moon is a record. Perfect, perfect reality, perfect dimension. Again, adding a grainy texture. I use the textures on the multiply blending mode, by the way, if anyone's wondering. It's just my 
personal favorite option. Can you guys guess what the second playlist is? It's a disco playlist. I love disco music. It's one of my favorite genres, so I had to do a disco playlist. But did you guys guess it? I mean, the record of the background and then the mirror ball as a head, and then the roller skating's very 80s and the rainbow even. 80s vibes, right? I love how simple this one is, but I could totally see it being music album cover. It's cool, I like the vibes. Now, the third and last cover, it's for a country playlist. Fun, but I'm thinking about a space cowboy pink princess aesthetic. So not the traditional cowboy visuals you think about. The concept behind this is that, you know, it's a desert, but on Mars. And there's a main character, which is kind of Jane Fonda in the 1968 film Barbarella. Love the aesthetic, by the way, classic film. Uh, this cover is gonna be fun and it's pop culture at its finest. I added a pink moon. I'm also adding a motel sign because that is so absurd. Even more than a road on Mars and a gigantic pink moon. But they're so cute. Like so vintage Americana aesthetic. And I'm gonna use AI to generate the character. And the prompt is something like Jane Fonda, Barbarella, pink cowboy hat, whatever. That's the vibe. All right, so AI gave me those two options and I just couldn't decide which one to use, so I'm using both. Ugh, I love their little outfit. The jumpsuit, ugh, it's perfect. I love them both. Now I'm just adding some more elements and of course the graphic designer obsession, the texture. So my third playlist is my country playlist. I'm just gonna say something real quick before, I don't know, someone judges me, but this is like a soft country playlist. It's like, it's what I call country for people who like pop. And that literally me. Anyways, I love the aesthetics. It might be, the concept might be my favorite here. The motel sign, the pink moon. It's very Hollywood core. And it feels like we might see this in movies. It's, I just love it. I love the concept and the visuals for that. And those were the three playlist covers. I honestly love them all. I can pick a favorite and I'm definitely gonna be using like as playlist covers, you know, for real, of course. Now it's your turn to design and share your beautiful creations with us in Kittle. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more design content. See you in the next video, bye.